When I first got to Gombe, it was 1960. At that time, there was forest all the way along the lake. And you could climb up to the top of the rift escarpment and look down. There was chimp habitat forest everywhere. I had notebooks and pencils or pens, and I had one pair of second-hand binoculars, and I think they hurt my eyes, actually, because I was always trying to see just a little bit more than I actually could. Fortunately, just before the money ran out, I saw one of the chimpanzees, the first to begin to lose his fear of me, and he was actually picking leafy twigs and stripping the leaves to fish for termites, which was making a tool. So that was the breakthrough. Some friends of mine really cared about the research and they started the Jane Goodall Institute. And today there are so many Jane Goodall Institutes dedicated to chimpanzee conservation, research and education. We've been working in Gombe since the 1960s and we have been watching what's happening to the forests since then. But it took Jane to take a small plane to actually have that aerial perspective. I saw Gombe from space through the high resolution maps from Google Earth and I was looking at them with Lillian Pintea. And it was a shock because it showed so clearly what I had seen, which shocked me back uh, in the early 90s, that around Gombe, the first pictures, it was literally bare hills. And it should have been forest, and it once was forest. And it was very clear that the land was becoming increasingly infertile due to over-farming and erosion as the forest cover was cleared. And that's when it came to me, you know, how can we even try to save these chimpanzees if people are having such a tough life? So that led to working with the villagers in the early 90s to improve their lives so that in turn they can come around and be our partners in conservation. Our strategy is that communities are absolutely essential for the survival of chimpanzees. When we go to a village, we first meet the village government. Usually we'd like to share the status of the work which we do together. And that gives you that extra sense of connection, that feeling that you're actually part of the same team. You're just working from different perspectives. We worked with villages around Gombe National Park to make a meaningful and contiguous forest conservation. So we came up with the idea to have the forest monitor. I think we should use our creative sito to kuangalia uaribi for the sito na ufanya na baadhi ya watu wale mo na kijiji kusimami ya ili wasendele ufanya uaribi fuli. Wani uaribi fuli wa kufanya kuna sabi shi ata vizazi vijavyo avita wona watu asiri ambao na taki wa upuwe. The Jane Goodall Institute is putting the technology in the hands of the people at the local level. And they are empowered to make the decisions about what's right for their own environment. The Forest Monitor is equipped with an Android smartphone or tablet. By being able to use simple tools such as Open Data Kit, we're trying to empower local communities in doing the work which in the past only specialists could do. Before I be, I na saidi ya ni sema kumbwa na saidi ya sana sana kwa sababu wakati wakwanza tulikuwa tulikuwa ni kwa ni kifanya doria ni kitumia kuandika kwenye karatasi. 
kila nacho kiingiza humu kinakuwa kinawakeka kwa sababu kinaonyesha mahala nilipokuwa After the forest monitors collect the field data they upload it into the Google Cloud It was not just useful for that village it's actually contributing towards a global effort of monitoring forest and natural resources around the world. The Jane Goodall Institute is not only using Open Data Kit to collect all of their field data, but they're also using Google's entire suite of mapping technologies. And so they're really at the cutting edge of using technologies to save chimps and their habitat. We are using geospatial technology to bring on the same map science knowledge and indigenous knowledge to understand how we are achieving our mission. We looked over the chimpanzee range and we figured out that by working with nine countries we can save up to 85% of chimpanzees um, and this is our focus. They've used Gombe as their laboratory and now we're together scaling it up. We want to scale it up across the entire Congo Basin, which is where so many of the remaining chimpanzees live. And because we have the Google Scale technology, we can have thousands of people submitting data and it can immediately be shared with billions of people around the world. This all started with Jane Goodall in the 1960s, just a pencil, a paper, her notebook, and her binoculars observing things that no one had ever seen before. Now, we can all see what's going on in these landscapes with the satellite imagery that's coming every day, the data that local communities are collecting on the ground, and it creates this real-time picture of a place that can transform conservation. All the Jane Goodall Institutes working together are really trying to do whatever they can to conserve forests. And if you conserve a forested area in order to protect chimpanzees, of course you protect everything else. Every single individual makes a difference every single day. And we have a choice as to what sort of difference we're going to make.